Welcome back. Joining us now is Greg Fleck and David Van Buskirk, President and Vice President of New Creation Restoration Center. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Frank. So, you guys, first off, how are you guys doing this morning? We're doing great. Doing good. All right. So Appreciate the rain. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we, we definitely need that rain. It's always nice to get that. So, first off, we want to start off. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what your program offers. Well, Frank, New Creation Foundation is a 12-month discipleship program that's residential, and uh, we provide recovery for men and women and women with children, children struggling with drug addiction and alcoholism. All right, thank you for that, Greg. And David, who specifically are you guys looking to try to reach? Well, specifically, statistics in 2009, and of course these numbers change every year, but 23.5 million Americans suffer with active addiction. Only 2.1 million seek help for their addiction. And who we're trying to reach are the, the, the 2.1 million that are seeking hope for their addiction. Thank you for that, David. And when you, you talked about numbers, and one of the things I think about numbers, I think about money, and then go from money to funding. So tell me a little bit about how do you guys receive funding for your daily operations? Well, you know, that's an interesting uh, question, Frank. As New Creation, what we've done is we rely on uh, corporations and private individuals and also churches to, uh, you know, make donations to the organization. But one of the things that we want to do is to be able to provide for the communities that we operate in. So we have micro businesses where the men and women learn work skills and things like that. The funds that are generated through our micro businesses also will help sustain them through the program. And that way we're not a, such a burden to the community. Right. Okay. So one of the things I love you talking about, you're talking about the community, right? So one of the things that the community has to really worry about is COVID-19. So how are you guys dealing with all yes. that? Well, we're taking all the standard procedures and precautions, just like everybody else. Of course, when we have new students come in, we quarantine them for a period of time. We're checking temperatures and vitals. Of course, we're wiping down all the, the commonly used areas, such as telephones, doorknobs, and, and such like that. And then do you, have, do you currently have a space for new applicants and places where they, they could stay? You know, you just talked about the quarantine. Can you break that down a little bit for us? Yes, yeah, so we have three individual phases to our program. Um, each phase has separate rooms. So we have specific rooms set up for the quarantine area when new students come in. And right now, we have availability for 15 men at the men's uh, Gideon House campus. We have room for 10 women or eight women and two mothers with uh, children in our cottages at the women's uh, Bethel House program. Okay, thank you for that. And another thing I want to know is, cause I'm from out of state, I'm from California. And what if I, I, I needed help or someone I know needed help, but they weren't from the Texas area, would they still be able to be admitted? Well, Frank, here's the thing. We, we are actually a nationally uh, open organization. We accept people from the state of Washington, from Louisiana, Alabama. We've had students or clients from all over the country come to us. And sometimes it's better that they are from a distance away because we're not a lockdown facility. It, it's totally voluntary. And uh, if they choose to leave, it makes it a little harder, to, you know, to, to get home or to leave the program if it's further away. But we're open to everyone around uh, across the country. We're in the process of examining opening other centers throughout a couple of different states and so because we're actually expanding and looking to grow new creation thank you for that greg and then where could people find more information about this well you can go to our website uh, newcf.org of course we have all of our information there and you can look at the meet the staff page and all the different uh curriculum that our program offers or they can use the phone and they can call 903-405-5656. Thank you all so much for your time, Greg and David. I hope you guys have a blessed day and try to stay dry, okay?